Okay, hi everybody. My name is Ian Goodrich. I'm head of product marketing at Spire Global. And I'm here today to run through this visualization tool uh, called Spire Fusion. As you can see, it starts out with a global view and we're actually able to uh, control and add many, many layers from our data sources. You can see here that I have ship position, environmental layers, and additional layers on, under, the, under the options. We're gonna start by explaining a few of these and then run through a few of the uh, use cases that are inside this demo. Let's start with some of the weather activity. The SPA logos on each of these data sets indicate that the data actually is coming from the SPA data reservoir. So let's go ahead and turn on something such as wind speed. And you can see that we'll see a visualization showing current wind speeds by a heat map, kind of map grade with an animation showing the wind speed and direction. This enables you to really kind of pinpoint areas of interest around the world that we might go and investigate in with some of the other layers. So we'll zoom in here and take a look at this kind of activity north uh, of Atlantic. And let's take a look at some of the layers we have on for vessel filters. Let's go in here and actually uh, color the vessels by gross tonnage. And then we'll just go ahead and do cargo ships. So we're going to skip uh, all the other vessel types that are in there right now. You can see we have fishing vessels, passenger vessels, and things like that. We're going to focus on cargo. I can go up to the latest position, turn that on, and the system will go out and it will query the API and bring back the latest um, reported position for cargo ships, and it will color them by gross tonnage. And you can see the scale up here indicating the tonnage of the vessels uh, by color. That gives us a chance to uh, look for certain vessels of interest, zoom in and query that uh, vessel at that position. 